I'm Ricardo Gonzalez, a urologist at Houston Methodist. We're going to speak today about what is a crossover randomized clinical trial. We're going to focus on intraprostatic stents that create space within the prostate to alleviate obstruction and improve urinary symptoms. What exactly do we mean by clinical trial for BPH? A trial is a process by which we can evaluate new treatments to see how effective they are. For example, new prostate stent designs that are less invasive ways to treat prostate enlargement are evaluated by their ability to reduce urinary symptoms and bother. To evaluate these new treatments, they are compared to a sham treatment through a randomization process. Two patients get the new treatment for every one sham procedure. The sham procedure is simply going in like we're going to place the device, but no device is actually placed. After three months, patients in that sham arm are evaluated and qualify to receive the new treatment. At the end of the day, all the qualified participants get the new prostate treatment. Regularly scheduled follow-up visits are required for five years after the treatment. There is no financial cost to participate in the study and compensation for travel is provided. I would like to share with you how a crossover randomized trial is done. If you are a patient with BPH and urinary symptoms, there is a process of consent, screening, and qualification. For men that qualify for the study, there is a step of blinded randomization two to one. For three men that qualify, one will go into the sham arm that doesn't receive immediate treatment, but rather the sham procedure with plan for treatment later. Two out of the three men receive the active new treatment arm. After three months, men are informed what group they were in after a comparison of those that received a treatment to those who did not receive the active treatment. Men in that sham arm then are treated with the actual new prostate treatment and they do have that opportunity to receive the new prostatic stent. All men after their treatment are followed for five years to assess not only how well it worked, but how durable that response was. So when we speak about emerging treatments for BPH, this is an opportunity to participate in a trial for a less invasive procedure without the need for general anesthesia. These procedures involve placement of a nitinol stent, which is a soft, flexible metallic material that expands and holds prostate tissue out of the way allowing the bladder to empty more easily and improving the urinary symptoms. In most cases, a catheter is not required. This prostate implant is removable if necessary, and it does not limit the ability to have future prostate treatments if they were needed or required. If you are interested in participating in the trial, measurements and studies are required to see if you qualify for this new treatment. Regular follow-up is required for five years after the treatment. There is no financial cost to participate and reimbursement for participation is provided. If you are interested, contact Sabrina at the number you see on your screen or send us an email to bphtrial at houstonmethodist.org. Thank you.